Draw a circle. Just, just a circle? Yes, with one stroke. How big? You decide. There was an artist named Giotto. This is almost 700 years ago. He was from Florence, Italy. And the Pope, whose name escapes me, sent a messenger to Giotto asking for a drawing to demonstrate Giotto's skill. Giotto drew, in red paint, a perfect circle. I mean, so perfect you would have assumed he used a compass. But he didn't. And he gave that circle to the messenger to take back to the Pope. Now, the messenger, legend has it, was offended, thinking Giotto just scribbled something. But when the Pope saw the circle, he understood. The natural talent. It sounds simple, doesn't it? Just drawing a circle. But to draw a perfect circle. So, how was mine? It was very good. You show real promise. But your mom, she could draw a perfect circle. Ah! <laughs> it's beautiful, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Like Who's next? Today was a good day, Lucas. Today was a very good day. And since you're apparently my good luck charm now, I think we're both entitled to an ice cream. Art endures, Lucas. That's why we sacrifice for it. Laws change, and money disappears, and buildings fall. Giotto, you could go right now and see his frescoes in the Scrivani Chapel in Italy. Because art endures. So then why didn't mom ever paint? Survival comes first. I still feel her in the little things. I did too. They stole it. We don't know that. I know it. Hey, Lucas! I know what you stole from my dad. Give it back. Don't know what you're talking about. Give it back or I'm going to hurt you. I don't know what town you blew in from, kid, but you better blow right on out. I'm happy to leave, but it's going to be with all my dad's supplies. Come on, little twelve, let's go. Where is it? Where is it? Come on! All right, all right, all right. Sarah, 
We gotta give it back. Why? Because it's not ours. You said you bought it. I, I didn't. It's not ours. Draw a circle. 